Here's a portion of a recent program on American History TV. So hopefully, I'll give each one of you a very small gift. I will promise you something. If during the next 12 months, any one of you says, but we've always done it that way, I will instantly materialize beside you and I will haunt you for 24 hours <laughs> and see if I can get you to think again. And I know it works. I've already had over 70 letters thanking me for haunting people. <laughs> I'll be there. We've got to accept the new things that are ahead. One of the major difficulties is the difficulty of changing people's minds. I had to give a presentation for the EDP Policy Committee of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, all admirals and generals. I had to remind those gentlemen that they've had piles of big reports sitting on their desks that they'd had to read and absorb, big decisions they'd had to make. And they had not had time to keep up with the technology that was changing overnight. And therefore, they were going to have to learn to listen to their juniors. I'm telling all the youngsters, officer and enlisted, and civilian, never, never, never take the first no. There are a certain number of people, business, industry, government, who always say no the first time you suggest something new because they're lazy. And if they say yes, they're going to have to do something about it. But there's another group, who are even more dangerous in a way, who always say no the first time you suggest something new or different because they want to see if you believe in it enough to come back and ask again. So never take the first no. Always go back and ask again. As a matter of fact, I take about four no's and then I figure out how to get around the guy, but uh, <laughs> that technique comes with age. I ran into one of these guys during World War II in Beward. After about two or three suggestions, I noticed he always said no to things the first time. So the next time I went in to suggest something, I said, let's pretend this is the second time I'm presenting this. I said, you always say no the first time. And he looked at me with the funniest expression. I had him over the barrel from then on because I'd just go and say, this is the fourth time I'm requesting this. Let's just say yes now. <laughs> so never, never, never take the first no on a new concept. It's terribly important that we listen to our youngsters. Some very interesting things are happening in the Navy. I know one case of a young Lieutenant Junior Grade who went aboard a ship. The Navy thought it was too small to have a computer. He took his own computer aboard. He was an admin. Pretty soon he had all the ship's records in his computer. He was getting all the reports out on time, beautiful, accurate. Everything was just marvelous. When he was transferred, the captain had to buy his computer. <laughs> I know another case where the commander of a squadron was told to take his squadron out to a carrier. He found that when he did, he would have to leave all his maintenance records in the Naval Air Rework Facility, the NARF. This didn't please him at all. He wanted the maintenance records of his planes with him. So he went out and bought himself an apple. With the assistance of an ensign and a DP in the NARF, he borrowed, stole, liberated, copied his records from the NARF into his Apple, got a case for it, put it in the space behind his seat, which is supposed to take his suitcase, and flew off to the carrier with all of his maintenance records and a computer with which to keep them up to date. Every commander of every squadron should have that. Somebody said, um, are you supposed to do that? He said, I didn't ask. I long ago discovered, of course, you don't all have the same advantage I have, but I long ago discovered that the best way to get something done was to do it and if necessary, apologize. It's much easier to apologize. You have no idea, oh gee, I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I can turn into the most helpless old female you ever saw. <laughs> that was a portion of a recent American History TV program. You can watch the full program and all of our history programs anytime online at cspan.org history.